Yeah. She got a pearl necklace and a matching set of earrings. Hello and welcome to the first edition of the Short Twat Show. The shorter, faster, quicker, leaner, drunken master version of the world according to tunes. Two words that I thought would never actually be compounded. Chest feeding. Now, a little over a year ago, the wise men, women and others at Brighton Council decided that words, breast and chest was clearly problematic and needed to be purged from the annals of history and the halls of the NHS. A bit like Gemma Collins after a kebab and a prune juice movie. Now, only one year later, this idea of the chest and the feeding seems to have uh, developed a bit like an embryo. It's divided, multiplied, grown into something different, <laughs> something new. Brand spanking new, like a new creature, almost like the unicorn. You don't see a lot of them. Now, <laughs> this debate seems to have caught a bit more heat, a bit more, excuse me, a bit more steam, shall we say. And watching the internet videos like I do most of the day and night, <laughs> Uh, I came across this little beauty. I wonder if I can start. We've talked about many things down the years, Rachel Rees, but I have to put it to you, the same question that was put to the party leader. Is it transphobic to say only women have a cervix? Good morning. Uh, good morning, Nick, and it's great to talk to you. Good to have you on. I, I, I just think that this issue has just become so <laughs> divisive and toxic. Yes, and it yes, I must agree. It is divisive and toxic. And Nick, you gammon, how dare you even bring this sort of conversation to such an educated woman like this lady right here. Pit people against each other, both groups who face discrimination in society, women oh. and trans women. And whoa, I just whoa, find this debate... Whoa, whoa. Let's stop it right there. I was on your side for a second then, lady, but there's more groups than just trans women and women during this debate. It affects everyone. Don't you know that? Why don't you know that? incredibly unhelpful and, and, and unproductive, to be totally honest. I, at this conference, I want to speak about issues that affect people, whatever uh, their gender and, 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 and whatever their sexuality. And we will get to those, I assure sexuality. you. But is it transphobic, yes or no? Uh, look, uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 what's wrong with you? Oh, you're losing me here, babe. What's going on? We all know that it is obviously transphobic to even suggest that men don't have a working cervix. Are you insane? What is wrong with you? You need to spend more time on Twitter, love. Honest to God. Is it, is it transphobic? It, uh, look, I just, I don't even know how to start answering these questions. <laughs> Why don't you know? Why don't you know the answer to this question? We all know the answer to this question. We all know. Why don't you? I, I well, just don't find them. I just don't find them. The party helpful. leader suggests it is. So, what, what do you, as shadow chancellor, say? I think that people should be able to identify with the gender that they feel comfortable. Respectfully, with. shadow and chancellor, that wasn't my question. My question is: it transphobic to say only women have a cervix? <laughs> it's, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't whoa, say that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is that? Oh, see again. It is transphobic. It is every phobic that there can be. Everybody is offended by what you have just said, including myself, being the diverse male that I am. Because if if somebody, I'd look, I, 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 why are we having to discuss parts oh. of women's anatomy because on, one of your on the radio? Because one of your colleagues feels unable to attend your. Oh, Nick, you disgusting creature! How dare you bring up women's vaginas on a show? about whether men have a cervix or not. <laughs> Nick, you're a, you're, a, you're a gammon, and you need banishing from our inclusive, diverse community. 
See, to be more inclusive, Nick, you need to disappear. Conference. And she should feel safe attending our conference. But I don't feel comfortable talking about women's anatomies in different yes, parts of Yes, and I totally body. agree. I totally agree with this lady. I do believe that um, she's got a point. And talking about, you know, this sort of thing just doesn't help at all. And even just bringing it up, not just going along with what your government says. Why are you arguing? It's the government. Trust the government. <sighs> People like Nick are clearly, obviously, gammon. And uh, need to be re-educated. They need to be sent into the gulag. None of them need to be here. I believe to be more inclusive, to be more diverse, we have to get rid of a lot of people. A lot like you lot out there. If you don't change your thinking and get with the programme, oh, you'll be gone soon. But what Nick did do, he got me thinking. He got me thinking, <laughs> what would something like this look like? <laughs> what would something like this physically look like? And I found this. Hi, Mama. Do you have a minute to talk? Yeah. You know, early on, we had a little hiccup with not wanting to sign a gender sex to the baby. Your mom is having a really difficult time mm. with like, not assigning a gender or sex to the baby. Ah, having a baby. I am okay, very okay, unprepared to get it. So, for you toxic, homophobic, uneducated plebeians out there, this is. <laughs> this is where the conversation has ended up. It started with chest feet. It went to, do men have a working cervix? To now, men can have babies. Trans women. I stand corrected. Oh, yeah. It's come to that. Something's coming. Something's coming. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. No. <laughs> Okay, right, let's just stop it right there. Now, watching this video, what struck me, and I'm sure it struck you, when I was at the birth of my children, there seemed to be a lot more screaming. There seemed to be a lot more blood and tissue involved. These two beautiful unicorns right here, Maybe they're onto something. And uh, who's that? It's clearly not a doctor. Oh, I asked it. The baby has been able to latch, but <laughs> I've not been able to produce any milk. It's okay, because we're going to supplement the feeding with... Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> now... That is a common problem amongst women, amongst the females. After having said baby, the failure to latch is a common problem. So clearly, it works. We're gonna supplement the feeding with formula so that my baby's still getting the, the nutrients that they need. I appreciate now, for any of you, just stop right there. I can hear the toxicity from here, people. How can you for one moment think that these two gorgeous flowers are in any way, shape or form mental? No, ladies and gentlemen, it's you that are mental. Thank you so much for all your work. And I appreciate you also, baby. I'm gonna die without you. My mom wants to be so involved, but yeah, she doesn't really that. understand like why we don't want to assign a gender or a sex to our baby. Why would you? Publicly, we're going to be calling the baby Negunit. Ooh. In the Nahuatl language, Negunit means the baby. <laughs> <laughs> China, it's not 
the body that I'm used to. Oh. Seeing what it looks like now. And then the tearing to my... Oh, Jesus, yes, the tearing. <laughs> As I pointed out earlier, the tearing is a serious problem and, you know, a scary aspect of giving birth for biological females. Obviously, this man has experienced a horrific injury, but well worth it. The beauty and the love and the joining and the, the ad admiration for creation after giving birth is just indescribable. Indescribable. Yeah, this guy seems to be this individual beautiful unicorn seems to be handling it pretty well i don't remember seeing much tearing the vagina really f me up. yeah you've got the you know. telltale stretch marks that oh the stretch marks also yeah i've given birth in washington dc if you don't check like the m or the f box on that what's that What's that stand for? Motherfucker. Boom, he drops a zinger. It becomes incredibly difficult to receive a birth certificate. We'll be getting yeah. the oh, certificate okay. of live birth. We're unable to even start an application because not only are we not Poor assigning creature. a sex to the baby, DC is forcing me to label myself as the mother. Oh. And that's not the case, but Drona is the mother. What? Excuse me. What's up, mate? You've just shown a bit of white privilege. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't like being labelled as the woman. What's wrong with you, man? You've just had a baby. <laughs> it's a giving and a taking world. You should know that. This whole birth certificate thing is, is really... I thought you were really talking about the fucking kid. <laughs> Trans women can be mothers. Yes, you can. <laughs> Yes, you can. Trans women should be mothers. If you think hard enough, you will grow the part you need. This is obviously the new way forward and only toxic, racist, homophobic, uneducated plebeians like you lot would think it was wrong to be in this reality. I can feel the toxicity from here. This beautiful female creature has been through a torrid time. Just had a baby. We'll leave her there. And anybody to suggest that she's anything or they are anything but totally sane. <laughs> well, clearly uh, you're worse than Shitler and you need to be banished to the gulag. Just like Nick. <laughs> what you have just witnessed and the idea that educated people can't answer the question of whether a man has a working cervix or not uh, just proves my point and what men I've been saying for centuries. Men are better than women. It seems uh, at everything, even giving birth. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. <laughs> it won't be called giving birth anymore. It's going to be called the evacuation of the living creature from the hole. <laughs> they're coming for it, ladies. And thanks to you and the feminists, they're going to get them. <laughs> we are now the new women are an entitled to every single thing you ladies fought for. And it's not just going to stop there, oh no. We're coming for everything. We've got sports. We're coming for everything, even having children. Ooh. Oh, feminists, thank you. Thank you for all your protests on this, forcing it into society, because it needed to happen. I am down. And if there's any of you uh, right-winging, goose-stepping, Roman-saluting, gammon, racist, white people out there, you need to relax, man. 
You need to get back in your pod. You need to pluck your nipples and drink that chest milk. And the most important thing of all, embrace that man pussy. <laughs> this is the first edition of the Short Twats show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope there's no mistakes. I hope the sound is great. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Yeah, yeah. A matching pair of earrings as well.